Okay, uh, like, uh, go ahead. Hoping nothing falls. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, wait up. Let's see, wait. Yeah. Be careful with the shaft, don't uh, scrape it. Okay, uh, let me take a good picture of this. Hmm. What's in here, I wonder? <coughs> so many things to know. Okay, keep going, I guess. There we go. Damn, this is cool. So I see a shift fork. That's a shift fork. <sighs> Pretty cool. Yeah, so nothing fell off. Uh, that's very good. <laughs> very good. So we see that that could be a bearing, I guess. Yeah, that's a bearing. Uh, this has a little, does, does this have a little play? That shaft that you were turning? Uh, it has some play or not? Mm -hmm. Turn. But does that mean? Okay, turn it. Yeah. So when you turn the front one, the the rear one doesn't move at all. Okay. This is what's inside. <clears throat> Man, I wonder how how this thing works. Let's inspect the gears. Um. This is cool though, wow, fun. Uh, as a reminder to you guys, don't do this if you don't have a daily driver available in the garage because you don't want to be stuck with something that's as complicated as this project uh, on your daily driver, that would be horrible. Uh, okay, so actually, do that again. This is like the shifter. There's a little hole in it in here. Maybe that's where the spring that we found goes. You wanna try, uh, you wanna start like taking things off or what? Okay, keep turning. Huh, why is this yellow? Here, you see that? Why is this yellow? Looks like nothing. <laughs> I have no idea what this is uh, for. Let's take the fluid. Okay, there's a little notch here. Uh, keep turning it a little bit, please. Uh, the other way. Okay, so it's like this here. Okay, I, I think we're just gonna try to maybe take the gear assembly apart now, huh? What do you think? Uh, let me just put it down back again. Yeah, but it, it looks solid. This transmission looks solid so far. Right, stop, okay. There is a pin here. Do you see it? It could be a, a hex. I mean, what do you call those? Allen? Yeah, it could be an Allen, uh, an Allen plug. Right there. Doesn't look like it. Man. Complicated. Uh, if we take it out, it'll probably make this whole thing come off. Uh, so we're gonna take it out. Okay, go ahead. May the force be with you. There we go. Easy job. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. My gut tells me that this is what we needed to do. Okay. What can you do now? Try maybe uh, taking this off. Oh yeah, yeah, there you go. This is coming off. Oh, sorry, this, this kind of was right there. Okay, so I think we have found the problem. It wasn't this plug, even though you pretty much need to take it off if you wanna take the transmission apart, but it was, uh, okay, this is the bottom of the transmission and this is the top. 
So we are on the left side if you're looking on top of the transmission from from the sky or something. This is the left side bottom. And inside um, on this shaft there is a, another snap ring. One of those bitch rings. Or how I call them. Let me show you where. You see? This is the ring we need to take off. And I think the whole thing is going to come out after this. So let's try it. It's off. Okay, cool. And that's the ring. And this one also is broken, so we're gonna so we're gonna get a new one for this. The first ring was broken, and uh, this one is broken too, because you just have to break them to take them apart. Okay, this is coming off. Remember the order. <gasps> put this back on. Put this back on. Put this back on. How was it? Like that. It was like that. But this is the outside or the inside? That's. This is the outside. Okay. Uh. We might. We might want to do it right, man. I remember that's the outside. The top is the outside. Okay, yeah, plus we got the video. Mm. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe that shifter pin needs to come out, that one, so that we can remove that, uh, that, that fork, you know? And that would... Uh, that would let us take off this gear and then this one and then the one behind I'm not sure if it's supposed to be hit okay after not being able to remove that part uh, we decided to take a try at this pin let me see we took it off it looks like this Looks like this, like a kind of a slug looking one. You know, it's kind of weird, but yeah, that's how it is. And it was right in here. It was right in that hole right there. We took it off with this. Uh, I don't see why this not coming up. This Me neither. <laughs> hammer. The hammer is. Right there. Okay, go easy on it. Nice. It's coming out big time. And uh, that's gonna. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna fall. No problem though. Okay. Stick it out. You wanna keep it on there so not let it fall out completely. Still has more to go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Was that enough? Move the thing left and right. Move that. Move this left and right. It doesn't. It doesn't move. Yeah, this is the pin that's basically holding the whole shifter when you're shifting. If you didn't have that pin, it wouldn't shift uh, anywhere. It wouldn't do anything. Actually, this is not a shop. This is my room. Because I don't own a shop. This one. Nor do I want to own a shop. Yeah, okay, it's moving now. If you pulled on that bar, it would all come off. Yeah, just like this. Oh shit, this here. We have to know that it was like this. That's what it was. Yeah, so with the little sticky thing in the back. In the back of the transmission. This yeah. Facing on the back. Yeah, facing on the back. 
this shaft was the shifter shaft that uh, goes inside the shift forks this one and this one so now the shift forks just come off uh, take them off one The other one, the second one. This one? That's what, that one. Does it come off? No? Probably this. Okay, so what we saw on this... Uh... <coughs> Sorry. What we saw on this transmission is... I don't know if you can see the marks... Um, on this gear that go kind of like... Butterfly marks. I'm going to show you like this. Yeah, you see all these butterfly looking marks those are because of this gear and as you can see uh, there's a burr of metal at every tooth of the gear and it shouldn't be like this uh, because the gears are used up um, and I think that's what is creating the whining noise with the transmission um, so we could either take those burrs out and uh, keep running the transmission like it is or uh, maybe change this gear and this gear knowing that this gear comes as a whole assembly like if you look from inside it is attached to the shaft to this shaft it's basically one piece so it's uh, it's it might be pretty expensive to change uh, we also saw that those gears were in pretty awesome shape um, and the only problem is this gear right here um, it looks like it's a little used up not that bad though but um, a little used up if it was me I'd keep them and that bottom gear also a little bit used up too but again not that bad custom transmission work what people do is they machine all this the this edge and make it very smooth like there will not be a burr uh, at all anywhere and in all the holes that are in between the gears so we're talking about this I'm pointing right there or this one or this one or this one all these holes um, these are machined a little bit so that they're very smooth so that's it basically maybe we're gonna try to take this this whole thing off now let's see what we can make happen we just took this out from the shifter area that was like the rear uh, the rear c-clip it was going <coughs> it was this part was sticking out it was sticking out that way okay uh -huh. On this end. So let's see if we can. Uh, so can like let's see if it's gonna help. And this is on. Oh shit! It's all, it's all off. Okay, take it easy. Take it easy. And this guys is what I gotta change on my uh, O2 Mustang GT on the TR 3650 transmission <coughs> to make second gear work again. Right now it doesn't engage. <sighs> okay. What can we see here? <laughs> okay, if we move this ring right there what can we see about the synchros <coughs> damn that thing doesn't move I uh, see the synchro is pretty bad on this one it's really bad you know it should be sharp everywhere with sharp teeth so that one is uh, pretty bad yeah I don't no, know what gear it is it's gonna be better to get a new one. To get the, a new ring like this, yes, you, you're gonna need to.